So good afternoon and good uh, morning wherever you are in the art world. Today we have a wonderful, inspiring artist, Christine Roy Chaudhary. Yes. yes. Hello. How are you? Hello, Carolina. <laughs> Very pleased to be joining you. Thank you. It is. It is wonderful. It is wonderful to meet you. Uh, you know, I I I was fascinated by your works of art, and uh, you know that the. the that it's it's incredible. What inspired you, uh, Christine, to start to to start painting? Uh, well, my father started me painting. Uh, he was always wanted to be an artist. He uh, was a painter and decorator, and he wanted to do art. And he always did art in his spare time. And when I was about two, he bought me uh, some oil paints, and I painted uh, from then on in. Um, I then went to art college and was even more inspired to paint. I always wanted to do my own subjects and what I wanted to do. And I was fascinated by what made people paint. And yes. um, loved uh, sort of the idea of um, living forever for a painting. Um, yes. Yes, and uh, while you are uh, speaking, I'm just uh, uploading your wonderful paintings because it is it is really fascinating to see the the the, the, the realism that you you know that you enhance in all of them. So I'm uh, just a couple of minutes. But where where are you uh, in Christine? At the moment, you are in Aberdeen. Yeah, I'm in Aberdeen and sunny Scotland at the moment. Um, the har is rolling in from the sea and uh, the mist, Scots mist is down. So it's typical Scottish weather is what I'd say. But the lighting in Scotland is amazing, which is uh, partially why I wanted to live here and work here. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And uh, how long, you, you told me, uh, so during the, the pandemic, you, you've been always... Uh... Uh, in, in Scotland, let's say. Yes, I've been locked down in Scotland. Um, so it's, everything's been closed and different. We've not been able to travel anywhere, not see um, family. Sort of, uh, Scotland's been very strict on its uh, pandemic um, rules. Yes, yes. And, and Christine, uh, so at the... Um, well, your your uh, I'm trying. I'm sorry because your your paintings are so beautiful. One, uh, there, there are so many. I'm trying uh, to be as fast as I can. Can you tell me a bit? You know, your uh, another doc of your of uh, because you're also teach. You are teaching. Uh, uh, you've been teaching. Yes, uh, I've uh, been. I've been teaching for 25, 35 years. Where I was. Um, basically a teacher that did art and having come to Scotland I'm now a an artist that teaches so the um it's transferred uh so all during the pandemic whilst I was doing um teaching I was also doing my art because um it kicked off quite a lot of ideas about uh, the value of people and the value of lives and whether you value uh, youth more than you value, value age and whether age gets forgotten about. So um, teaching has been a big part of my life uh, and it's actually taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. So now I am actually finally managed while you were wonderful to... <laughs> <laughs> to keep on on speaking you're very you're wonderful it seems it is also your ah. first zoom so i really thank you for your patience so now we are on the first uh, painting which is uh, uh, the, the title that you gave it's it's very important uh, yeah the title's uh, pandemic and um it is like i was uh, intonating it's about the the value of people's lives and as you get older, uh, people tend to put less value on your life. And then uh, during the pandemic, um, 
it was hitting mainly people in the 70s or 80s, older people, yeah. and people that were in nursing homes that had been shut away and forgotten about. And mm -hmm. suddenly they came into the forefront and they became like one life became very, very important to the people that were trying to save those lives. And yeah. they, although they had been forgotten about an awful lot before that, um, basically shut away and um, the value had been belittled. Um, although you are still the same sort of person you are when, in your youth, when you get older, whether you're 17, 18, 20, 30, 50, 80, you're the same sort of person. And people see you as a number rather mm -hmm. than an individual. And that's what this painting's about. It's got, um, my mother is a central figure. Um, mm -hmm. she, she didn't appreciate being woken up at you know, seven o'clock in the morning to take the photographs needed for the photo. And they're not exactly the most flattering, but they, I wanted that naturalness and that um, lostness that you get, that sort of feel, you know, the, the what, what's this aboutness? And the, the back figure is actually um, uh, the one right at the back near the black void is um, my son. So, cause he's a, a doctor. So he's the, he's the model for the figure at the back. But I wanted to get um, a sort of lightness to it. So the color of the, the doctor's gowns and the lightness of that to sort of almost, um, uh, sort of contrast to, to the heaviness of the subject matter because mm -hmm. um, sort of the idea of, of, of death being next and worth of persons is quite a heavy sort of subject so yeah. I was trying to sort of um, get the different sort of whites and light lightened sort of the image while carrying the sort of message across as to why why would you um, ignore all these people? Why would you um, sort of save them? Mm -hmm. And what is a life worth, basically? That, that's the, the question behind this. And, yes. um, and you know, explain that. It, it, is, it has been uh, quite, uh, I have to say, overwhelming because, you know, an entire generations of people also you know in Italy they, they disappeared an entire generation of you know bringing with them history uh, life uh, traditions this is really has been quite I think the, the most one of the most terrible things about uh, this pandemic and, this and seeing them as uh, non-individuals you know yes. sort of as numbers, you know, so many thousand people all over the world, and they're dying, as you say, they're, they're dying, and they're dying as a statistic, not as an individual, not as someone that has their own hopes and their own dreams and their own individuality. And, yes. and, and many times, you, you know, so many people could not even attend to their, you know, to their to these terrible moments and also the funeral. Oh, it's been quite a tragic moment, I have to say. Yeah. But uh, no, it's it's a uh, it's a uh, one one more deep than the other. You know, you 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 really uh, there is so much into the the pictures. But I'm I'm jumping because you have so many beautiful paintings, and I would love uh, that everybody sees everything. Uh, this one is again a very important moment of your of your. This is a transition picture, is what I'd say. I went to see the Bonnard exhibition mm -hmm. um, that was on in London, and uh, I got annoyed at it. In actual fact, um, I loved I love his use of color, and I love his use of paint and the energy with that's within that, but. Um, I got annoyed at his depiction of the female figures because his wife is depicted within that, those and you don't see her as an individual. Mm -hmm. You don't see her as a personality. Um, so what I did with this picture is I was looking to sort of um, to 
make contradict it to actually reverse the roles. Uh, so you've got the artist, which is me taking the central figure, uh, and you've got the model behind, which is the nude, which is my partner so behind. So you've got the, the two images where the artist is, is taking an active role, whereas also the model. So that was my reaction to Bonnard's uh, compositions. Yes, no, I think it's uh, now we go to another to yes. another new it's not the woman anymore uh, represented but here it's a, it's a male are these people or always people dear to you or you just yes um i think it, it takes it becomes a universal um symbol something that is um important to you um mm -hmm. is quite often important to everyone else is a universal subject matter is something which lots of people have experienced or feel about but in order for it to be um to take on importance and an emotional impact i think it has to be important to you um this one happens to be my partner ander and um he has a wealthy background a sort of uh, is part of it and i i was sort of displaying that and uh Basically, as you get my, my treatment of my model as a, a male would treat a female model, sort of as, as a sort of objectifying in a way, in a sense. Yes, but also this, this as you said, the rich background is it's, it's, it's incredible. It's this gilded, uh, shining uh, golden rays coming up, coming and from behind. Yeah, I love the effect of, of gold. I was um, uh, experimenting with the use of gold and as a surface because it actually it invites the viewer into the image because it, uh, it affects the, the lighting that you have it in. Um, all, the painting alters as the day alters, um, but it reflects you as well. So it's kind of, um, it has a dual effect as well as having meaning at the back of it because of what it is, it actually has a, a brilliant um, sort of surface quality to it. And um, you can see I was experimenting with uh, surface qualities and um, playing with uh, texture and lighting and, also, and, you know, and composition. Mm? Yes, but also, you know, it's a very contemporary um, background, let's say the, the door, and yes. very, you know, these colors, uh, the, the, the use of this violet, let's say, uh, hues, and then mm -hmm. this very old, uh, old fashioned uh, gilded. Uh, but I, I think it's beautiful between the, 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 the present and the, and the past. And it has so different connotations as well with it, as you know, sort of gold and icons and different things like yes. that. So yes, indeed. It's, it's, uh, Wonderful. And then we go another, uh, very also, very, I think. Uh, yes. Uh, representation of, uh, of the same woman or? Yeah, it, this is, um, is it, uh, well, it is my mother. It's supposed to be the same woman in the image, yes. It's sort of the age and youth. It's sort of uh, something that fascinates me is the uh, idea of aging and, um, the idea of you staying the same in your body, but your body changing and people's views of you um, changing. So that's why I called it reflection um, because your, um, the way that you are seen is different from the way that you feel inside and um, the way that uh, people view you as a, a sort of sexual object uh, changes um, as you get older uh, yeah. you lose that sort of quality mm -hmm. and um, you as you say you basically would disappear and you become invisible as a as a person and all they see is the age rather than the person yes and I think this is uh, the portrait you know detail of your <clears throat> Of, uh, you said your mother, uh, but it's yeah. beautifully, beautifully, beautifully represented. You know, it's it's all of us who one day will become 
Uh, it can be my mother, uh, you know, it can be any mother's and it's beautiful with this hair, uh, incredible. Yeah, she's a, she's a lovely person. I mean, as all mothers are in a certain way at certain times. Um, they, and the vulnerability that you get as you get older, um, yeah. whilst, as I say, still saying, staying the same, you don't become, um, you don't become a, a, a warm purple uh, rinse person. Uh, you, you still like uh, sort of, if you like uh, jazz, then you like jazz, late, you know, later you don't change into just liking sort of lullabies or yeah. wearing pinks and purples simply because that's your age. Um, and I think that's something that people forget about, that uh, you are an individual. You don't um, just want to knit or, you know, because you're a certain age, you hit that age and you're not supposed to, um, you're not supposed to do the jig or, you know, you're not supposed to, um, Drink, drink gin or something you know if you 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 stay the same sort of person and I think this sort of mass idea of someone should act your age I think you are your age inside you don't my mother tells me that she feels like she's 25 she her just her body won't do it yes. so um that's what this is about it's a beautiful reflection, you know, sometimes we forget because, you know, we see them uh, I, or, you know, or at the same time, you know, we see our mothers always the strongest uh, figures and, uh, and of course, age, uh, the external part. Sometimes, can, can, uh, uh, sometimes we want to fight also, you know, this, uh, to see them aging and that we want them always strong and to be there for us. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is, it is two, two very important moments. And this is instead the, let's say, the yeah, earth. This, <laughs> this, uh, this is uh, as, as the idea of just reflection and the fact that um, you, you don't really see the real person. That's what this is about. It's sort of, um, it's about image and viewer and um, seen obliquely, basically. That, that's what that's about. Um, and it's also about playing with uh, surfaces and um, co composition, mm -hmm. sort of uh, trying to play with the idea of depth of field and different depths of field that you get, uh, sort of the idea of um, the surface quality with the... Um, with the use of gold again to try and create that sort of reflective, multi-layered uh, idea with the glass and the, the gold within it as well. So it's it's playing with color and playing with composition and um, looking at um, how you you get depth of field within a picture. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and we go now to something which uh, this is again uh, the title uh, because you know again they are very interesting your titles because you know they really they explain uh, a bit what's happening. Uh, but could you could you Christine tell us? Yes, uh, this is self portrait with uh, mother and. Uh, Again, it's talking about relationships and relationships with mothers. The the quite quite different. Uh, this this one is um, me. I'm looking at composition, so mm -hmm. I'm looking at the idea of trying to get three different viewpoints within one picture, so that your eye moves around the image, so it's not just a flat surface. So you're you're seeing a, an impossible sort of viewpoint because uh, as I say, you've got three different viewpoints within the image, um, but it, it's talking about uh, the influence of my mother on my painting. 
-hmm. So um, you can see that uh, I've put a hand coming down through my brushes. So they're almost like an extension through. So her influence and support in my artwork and uh, the things that I'm doing. Um, it's a, uh, it, it's me painting another picture, uh, which is, what we might come to see separately, which is uh, one called Isolation. And the idea that as you get older, you get more isolated. And I only see her sort of um, ever so often now, but she has been one of the most supportive sort of people within my painting. And it's in the tradition of uh, self-portraits by artists of the past, whereby you get um, the uh, art is uh, depicted as an allegory, and it's usually quite a woman that is painting a picture. And so it's in the history of um, uh, like Gentileschi and her portrait that she did of herself doing a painting. Uh, not quite the same in, in a way, but it, it's still invoking the histories and the past of that, I mean, the, the sort of gold chain and the different things. So it's an allusion to past uh, portraits, I would say. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You know, I, I love, you know, the details of these hands. They're beautiful. You know, and there's so much, uh, you can feel the power of, of you know, of being wise and knowledge and, uh, and in peace also, um, while you are in a way depicting her, portraying her, beautiful. And, and your eyes. Yeah, it's the, uh, the loudness again, it's the idea of the loudness of the pajamas, sort of, uh, sort of says the, the dominance of the influence in the, in the background to you. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's trying to sort of uh, play, play with composition, play with pain, play with meaning, basically. Um, th that's, that, that's what it's about. Um, this one is in the, oh, both, both, both that one and this one um, are in the uh, Scottish Portrait uh, Award exhibition at the moment. They're in... Uh, Glasgow, sort of, they're being shown in there for the next month. So they mm. both got into the Portrait Awards. Um, th this one is uh, one of my son. This is called "This Is Going to Hurt," mm -hmm. um, and this was actually this was actually inspired by a book that my son gave to me. Uh, the actual uh, figure in in the bath is well, both figures are my son. Um, and uh, my son uh, became a doctor. He sort of, and he gave me a book uh, called "This Is Going to Hurt," and he said, "Read this, Mum. It will tell you um, how it is to be a doctor." And it's the idea that you're thrown in at the deep end. Um, you're kind of um, you're not really given that much support, mm -hmm. uh, and you're there saving people's lives and it's almost like drowning under paperwork and uh, stuff that you've got to do. And um, I, I got him to go in a bath and take, I took photographs of him sort of in the bath and things like that. It was quite, quite good fun in, in reality. <laughs> um, the, and the and back the, figure is my son when he was a little boy. Yes, so, I'm, going, I'm going just, uh, while we, you know to see the two how, how big they are and it's it's beautiful you yeah. know this contra contra you know position of uh, the two uh, of your son being you know young and and then a man and uh, beautiful beautiful and then we have a detail here of your son here yeah that, that's the part of him in in the bath is sort of i was trying to get the 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 feeling sort of of that comes from it. I, I try in my pieces to get a sort of emotional impact and emotional response mm -hmm. um, from the image. I try to get something whereby you don't just look at the painting and think that's pretty um, or that looks like that. I try to get something where you actually get the feeling from it, um, sort of uh, like uh, the one where it's um, 
my mother and myself, you get the, the, the emotional impact and the connection between the two figures. And this yeah. one, ho hopefully you get the, the feeling between the, the innocence of the child and the, the wishes that you have for your, your son and the sort of, and the almost the agony that you get that, that actually you can't do anything to help because he's a responsible adult, um, mm. but he's still your little boy and yeah. you want to sort of um, help him, but he's successful mm. in, and he he's capable. Um, but there is, because he's a human, he's still, he's got that vulnerability. Now, as I say, I did this as well during lockdown and in the middle of doing this in lockdown, um, my son was describing um, a COVID patient uh, being sick all over him. And you're kind of going, oh, you know, he, he could get a huge dose, he's young, he could get a huge dose. There's lots of doctors and nurses and people that have uh, died of COVID, mm -hmm. um, been healthy. And you kind of go, there's that sort of dual sort of feeling about it. Um, you know, the sort of the, the proudness that he is a, a doctor and, and his feeling of, 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 of being secure, but there's also, he's still a vulnerable human being. So that, yes. that, that is this. And also, you know, it's a very actual uh, theme because, you know, we, you know, behind all of us uh, during these uh, months, there were all the doctors, all the nurses taking care of us. And, uh, and you know, again, they are humans. They are not only doctors and uh, their fears are, uh, you know, sometimes you told me once uh, about how how difficult it is for them, you know, to see people that die, and mm. how you know they cannot, uh, you know, you sometimes being a patient you forget. Uh, yes. This is also this other scene uh, <laughs> to the, you know, to, to the reality of that we live. Beautiful, beautiful, and I love you know the colors that you chose. Beautiful again, you know, with that, and also this contrast with the tide. It is incredible. So now we go again to another very important theme. Of, uh, yes. Of being, yes. Yeah, it, it's uh, my strings portrait. Because yes. um, uh, everything comes attached with strings. Mm -hmm. um, sort of every relationship has strings attached. Um, and they can get incredibly restraining and constraining. Um, and this one is um, basically what, a, what I, a comment on, on marriage mm -hmm. and the idea that um, there's a lot of controls involved in marriage. And there's a lot of, um, where you tie yourself in knots um, emotionally. Mm -hmm. um, that's what this one is about. It also, um, after I'd done it, it reminded me of Fragonard, but it was kind of, which is, it was quite interesting because that one was about a different type of relationship. But um, I, I was interested in, as I say, looking at, at, at viewpoints and uh, the involving the viewer within the, the painting itself as well. Um, but it, it's quite a, a in some respects, a, a simple impact of uh, meaning if you've ever been married it's, uh, or in a relationship because it, it's, they're not always simple. They're not always what you see on the surface. There's an awful lot of um, restraint, I would say. <laughs> Yes, yes, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's again, life and uh, sometimes, you know, you, uh, it, it, again, we go back to another beautiful uh, scene, but uh, there is so much to say, you know, I think what your images, we could speak forever and ever, and especially about, you know, marriage and, uh, and, you know, yes, and the different, uh, you know, ties that bring you, you know, there, there are children, there are all these emotions and, uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, beautiful again with the background, the gilded background and the velvety sofa, which is beautiful. And now we are going to something, again, something beautiful, but uh, I never seen this uh, composition. 
in a, in a dancing. So it's the same couple, but in different in different yes. dance moves. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, yes. This is um and this is another sort of one which is commenting upon. Um, I like to involve time an awful lot in my paintings. So a lot of things refer to time. Sort of the idea of dance um, has time tied into it in any case, um, because uh, you need time to do the dance and um, music takes time. So it, it's part of the time and change. And the idea of having in the background, you may notice that there's the, the river and the river is the idea of, you can never step in the same river t uh, twice. So time moves across. And the, um, the figures themselves are, are myself and my mother. And the fact that we are interchangeable in some respects. We are interchangeable, we are the same. Um, also, we have uh, the aspect of um, the, uh, basically the support and the guidance that your mother offers you. She offers you guidance, she keeps your feet on the ground. She offers you um, sort of uh, solidarity, but caution. She tries to caution you, keep you away from danger. Um, and sometimes um, she's not that keen on you going with your ideas or a size of restraint and things. Um, the daughter, in this case myself, is um, eyes are on the dreams and what they want to do. Um, the mother thinks that you can do anything you, you please, but keep your feet on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously the, the, the leaves are a reference to time and change and movement and things like that. So um, it's, it's the idea of merging and um, keep it on dreams and the fact that, as I say, the dance of life um, you change into your mother and your mother you know, sort of, it has, has come from you. Um, you're very, very sort of uh, similar, but you, um, I mean, there's all sorts of aspects with this sort of, um, but my mother wearing the, the trousers, if you know what I mean, the male, the male yeah. character and the female character. And it's kind of indeed, indeed, indeed uh, you know, again, in a very feminine, you know, in a very feminine color, let's say. Uh, mm. But again, wearing the shoes, you're not wearing the shoes. Uh, to be a bit more, as every child would like to, you know, follow the dreams, as you said, but, uh, you know, we have uh, the parental guidance always to be, to be wise. <laughs> it, it, it's full of those meanings, but it's also, um, I'm trying to play with uh, color and texture and movement. So I'm trying to get the feeling of, of of movement in there so you it's not supposed to be as a static image it's trying to get as much movement as i can within it it is a beautiful composition as you said you can feel you can feel that you're dancing you, you, you know it's this beautiful intimate um, and and as, a, as a, i suppose as opposed to many portrait images it's not really a portrait image in some respects um, because uh, none of us are looking out. It's kind of, we're all, we're all involved in, in the dance. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's trying to play, basically. It's me playing with ideas and um, composition again. Yes, now we have a detail of your... Again, it's, it's a beautiful, you know, so... Uh, Proud, you know, to see also your, you know, your mother looking at the, the child in a very proud way. Um, that only a mother can have this case. And now we are jumping in again. One of the, your your incredible with this uh, portrait. But these are only uh, the portraits, or it's a detail of a painting. Uh, these are portraits. These are sort of studies. Mm -hmm. uh, I do. Uh, I tend to do a, a study of the person I'm going to be painting, or sort of get to know what they look like. If you know what I mean. So, this is um, a lot larger than life size. It's probably twice, 
twice life size, maybe three times life size, mm -hmm. sort of uh, to try and get the, the feeling. My mother, this is my mother, sort of, um, uh, she only has one eye. So that sort of, she lost it when she was a, a child. And um, lots of, uh, she's faced a lot of prejudice growing up because she only had one eye. Uh, sort of called her Nelson and um, photographers would say, oh, turn to the left a bit. So they only saw the, her from the profile. And I just thought that was kind of very hurtful. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I grew up, I actually grew up with my mother's eye on the kitchen uh, sink or on the bathroom sink. And uh, my mother used to call upstairs, I'm watching you. So I sometimes blame my mother for the way I see things because I always wondered how you saw. So that was my one. Yeah, but I think it's, it's a beautiful uh, uh, you know, sentence, you know, that mothers do say, I'm watching you. <laughs> but beautiful, beautiful metaphor here. Beautiful, really. It, it's, you know, the, it's so touching. Uh, it's it's uh, overwhelming. I, I love I love this picture of your mother. Beautiful. So here we go in, instead to to I think another of your. Yes, this this is uh, one of my partners, uh, Son Angus, um, and yeah. So and he has incredibly curly hair massive sort of curly hair so I wanted to get the feeling of, of, of his hair so it's sort of it's quite a, a big square canvas this one um, I haven't as yet done a, a whole portrait of him um, which will be in the offing shortly I would have thought because he's got an sort of incredible face um, because he's uh, sort of I uh, suppose mixed ethnicity so it kind of uh, it lends itself to getting sort of something unusual mm. um, I suppose as with my son as well yes the beautiful beautiful you, it's again, got, yes. you, you can capture you know the, 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 this you're actually wondering what is he thinking you know because he's looking at you in such a you know penetrating way beautiful uh, uh, they are so deep and uh, fascinating and this one again uh, the game, the moment that you choose. Do you do you choose? Uh, you know, you 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 must be very fast. It's out. You take a picture, or you you know you make them. I I take about uh, 30, 40 photos to get the right one. Mm. Um, to get this uh, is part of a, uh, another one, um, and it's the um, it's the hurry up mother sort of look. Um, but he's grown up with me painting him, so um, he's he's a uh, basic. He uh, there's a there was one uh, painting that I've done of him which isn't one of these. It's um, when it, when I made him wear a little girl's dress, um, and uh, when he started asking where his dress was, I decided I wouldn't paint him anymore in the dress. <laughs> but it's it's trying to capture that. That look, you know, the, the look when and the age where they're just about to turn into an adult, mm. where they yeah. will no longer have that innocence and that youthful look. They become, uh, they're only in, only in this sort of transitional stage for a short time. So it's trying to get that, that feeling of youth into um, adulthood. Um, yeah. That, that was my view of trying to get him and trying to get obviously the colors and the contrast and the feeling feeling of it it's uh, it's you know it's uh, 360 degrees you know your portrait because you 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 can see as a mother you know the feelings of every mother <laughs> you are depicting all what we see in our children and it's it's exactly what you're saying so you know I have I have uh, three children doing teenager <laughs> through the different steps. And it's really incredible. And it's, you know, your words really reflect what I'm thinking. You know, when I look at them, it's incredible. 
and here we have instead, I think, your husband. Ah, uh, yes, this is Amber. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. That's, okay. um, yeah, the, the kind of look, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so trying to capture him, sort of with his nose and his eyes and things. <laughs> and um, his love of Land Rovers. I don't know if you can notice at the back, but I've stuck a Land Rover in just for his sake. But yeah. it's, oh uh, yeah, it's just trying to get that, that feeling. Um, you know, you get that response to, to the image. That's, that was the first uh, portrait I did of him. Oh, wonderful. I, fantastic. I think you must be very, very happy, pleased with this, with this portrait. And now we go very interesting. Again, I think you must be your fan with it. In a very, uh, it could be impressionistic a little bit of uh, mm. uh, type of colors. It's so realistic of this cat that is moving and it's pouring. Ah, oh, I love it. It's it's incredible. And you can yeah, see I'm... your son bending <laughs> and being there and being. It's such a realism, you know, and such a, a, a tenderness, you know, in in this in this thing. Yeah, it was um, mainly, as I say, to try and get the feeling of movement in there. Um, I called this, because uh, my son was called uh, Alexander, so it's called Ali Cat, I suppose. <laughs> it's kind of, uh, and it is to get that idea of wonder and uh, the sort of childhood and the, 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 the idea of the beauty of, uh, of a sunny day, um, how he, it's transient, it, it moves, it changes. Um, similar to, as you said, the, the impressionists where they're trying to capture that light. It's trying to capture that, just that moment in time whereby they are full of absolute wonder at what they're seeing. Uh, you know, sort of a, a, a big cat, according to his size and his scale, sort of uh, going, sort of playing with the cat. Um, and it's it, it's the idea of catching transients, I suppose. And and also it's very interesting the red you are using this red color, very very impressive. You know, is a uh, also with your mother with the uh, before. It, it is something would be it's symbolic this red, or mm. it just it shows. It, it's um, red. It's an active color. It's not passive. It, it's uh, sort of, it, it's a color that makes impact and it's a color of passion. And, and uh, it, it always, I like, I like the contrast of reds and greens. I, I, I suppose it's, it's a thing that follows through with a lot of my work is that um, it, it has more zing to it. It uh, allows the, um, the 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 person to connect with it and creates your focal point in a way um because if his color if he'd been wearing a different color he you wouldn't have looked immediately at him and then down at the cat you would have looked at the cat and then it, it wouldn't have actually worked as compositionally because it's to follow is to make i use red to make the eye follow through and quite often if you look at my other paintings um, the colors um, are used deliberately. Um, I, I, I ch do alter the colors of things. So he might not have actually been wearing a red jumper. <laughs> it's what I said. I kind of, I, he's quite likely, I think that color, the jumper he was wearing was blue, but, <laughs> but it wouldn't have had the, um, the yeah. impact. So I, I play around with the colors of things. Beautiful, dog, beautiful composition. And again, we have a portrait, another portrait. Ah, yes, this is uh, Anders' mother. It's my mm -hmm. partner's mother. Uh, and it's, she's a lovely woman. I, I, I just thought she was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and you meet someone and you kind of think, she must have been a stunner when she was younger. You know, she actually 
and and she has um, she has those uh, connective eyes. So I I just had to paint her, and again uh, she she's um, had money in her background. So I, I brought the gold in as a, a symbolic sort of gesture. Uh, but also as a sort of, uh, I was pl playing with the use of, of gold and how it can be um, iconic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the sort of symbolic sort of quality of it, I brought into it. Um, so I, again, I, I suppose it was a simple, I, I do plan to do a, a full scale painting of, of her, but the, it just felt that it had to have gold in there because, um, sort of uh, and uh, loves his mum and this is sort of part of it and he has mm. he obviously has different um uh sort of uh, connections with her as well and no one's um is straightforward relationship with mothers are straightforward yes yes indeed that's a very very elegant beautiful and now instead we are going forward even though i would love to stay in every picture even a little bit longer this is a, a, a painting that won the scottish portrait awards it was it took part in them it's uh, uh, it, exhibited in it yes yeah yes. Well, um yeah this this is uh my piece it's called uh, choices and I painted this just as I was moving um, from England to Scotland. And uh, it's kind of symbolic of the idea you have choices and you have different roads that you can travel, different paths that you can take. And you have the, um, your past is either, depending if you're Greek or if you're um, Roman, uh, is it at the back of you? Uh, so you can't, you don't uh, see it anymore. It's at the back of you and your future is in front of you. So it's a, a piece again about time and it's about your standing in time um, and you're aware of your past and you're, you're thinking about your future. But um, the, the dog actually was put there because um, he lives in the present. Mm -hmm. He has no past, he has no future, he's innocent. So he, he's just, a, a, he's a sort of symbol that you should live in your, your present. Um, and uh, the tree is, is a sort of um, a tree for hope. Mm, beautiful composition. Yeah. I, I, I like playing with the different greens in this, I have to say. I was looking at the blue greens and playing with the, the different type of uh, color tones that you can get. So it, it, it was a, a sort of combination of a landscape and a, a portrait. Yes, of course, you know, we, we, we see it different, even though the, the, the images and the, the quality, it's, it's beautiful, but of course it's different from seeing them live uh, with you. Beautiful mm. dog, the background, and, and, the, and this dog. Uh, I was, I was playing with, yeah, playing with detail, I have yes. to say. Yes, yes, and a different, you know, you can feel all the branches, even, you know, it's very, very um, impressive. And here we go, instead, one of, um, again, very interesting, because, you know, I, I, I told you before, I, I, I didn't know the, the title, but then, you know, when you told me, it, 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 it meant, and it took a different, uh, uh, Reality. The, yeah. It is teaching. The art of teaching. The art of teaching. Incredible. Yeah. Well, why? <laughs> why is this position? Because, you know, as, as I said, I would never think about that. But then again, it makes sense, you know, now that you, you know, you, you, you describe it, it's incredible. I can see that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I do like... Uh, the, I, I like the pieces to be able to be self-evident um, for you, you know, to be able to look at them and go, oh, that's about that. Um, mm -hmm. Sort of uh, the, because having, this is the first painting I have done, um, which brings in teaching, because mm -hmm. um, teaching tends to be, um, it tends to be regarded 
in now times as uh, negatively. It tends to be that people say, well, if you're, you know, if you teach, you can't do, or you either do or you teach. And so I, I kind of never really uh, considered doing a painting about teaching. So th this was the first painting I decided that actually I, I would um, look at, because I've been teaching for, as I say, 20 odd years. Um, and it takes over your life. It does take over your life. Um, you're inspiring people, you're getting people to do uh, work and um, you're uh, giving them your ideas in many respects. Uh, mm -hmm. so many years I, I, I regarded myself as a, um, a, a teacher that did art. And uh, I've now changed to be, uh, because I, I used to be a, a sort of, I was head of department for about 20 years. Um, and I've now decided that I would be a, a, just a, a teacher, a part-time teacher. And uh, I'm now an artist that does teaching. Um, I mean, I do find it, I find it fascinating the fact that it used to be that um, artists took students within the, uh, studios and taught them and helped them and aided them um, and gave them ideas and it was a good profession to be in but it, it's got negative sort of associations um, but so this is uh, a, almost a, a celebration in some respects of teaching um, and it's got all sorts of references in, in it to um, art and teaching. This is one of my this is one of my pupils, in actual fact. Mm -hmm. um, she's um, uh, sort of uh, she she agreed to be my model mm -hmm. uh, for for it. Um, and um, we played around with composition again and color, um, and came I came up with this image, uh, which I I think works. Yes. Yes. It's actually, you know, as I said, I, I did the, you know, when you told me the title, I, I, I you know, you, it gets uh, many times are self-explanatory, but this one it was a bit, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't know at the beginning. And then, of course, you, you, you do understand with the posture, you know, you, you are looking, she's uh, there uh, trying to, you know, copy. Yeah, postures and uh, really wonderful. And uh, you know, again, in a very contemporary key, you know, the shoes, the outfit, it's uh, extremely, you know, realistic of everyday life, of your life also. So very out of your, out of your practical, as I think. Uh, now we have a detail. And do you, do you, uh, is there anything, because now we can see the detail written on the black <laughs> Um No, the, the detail is uh, sort of a concert. It's a contemporary sort of concert that she's just, uh, she, she's interested in art and music and everything, sort of learning everything. Um, and the, the the blackboard at the back is uh, sort of from previous lessons and learnt, things like that. Beautiful. It's, it's always, uh, it is always, it is you know, into different lessons. We, yeah. we are almost at the end uh, and uh, we, we felt also the invitation of your, of your, your lovely dog. <laughs> I think he wants, <laughs> he wants to go. <laughs> no, I think he wants to go for a walk, but <laughs> he's been very patient too. And this one is one, um, Christine, of your latest painting you're still working on. Yes, um, as I say, I, I kind of only just started thinking about um, painting uh, teaching and uh, doing things that involve schools. And, and I, I still found that actually it, it's, it's really interesting to be a teacher because you have access to uh, all sorts of different models and different people. Um, mm -hmm. And these uh, are two cleaners, Dora and Doris, in um, my, my school. 
and mm -hmm. I, I've got quite friendly with them and I pass them every day and we say hello. And it struck me that actually they have the, they've had the hardest job in the pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, cleaners. I, th I think um, they've had to be cleaning all the COVID. <laughs> I think it's been one of the most dangerous jobs around and they're very stoic. And uh, these two um, cleaners had, have marvelous characters. And um, I just couldn't uh, pa bypass the opportunity to be able to paint them. And they, they come over, they're very strong women, strong mm -hmm. working models uh, of women within uh, society, which tend to get overlooked. And um, it was something that I felt should uh, be brought forward. So I'm in the middle of this painting sort of, um, and trying to actually uh, get the strength of the character and the fact that um, ordinary people uh, and cleaners and women in general um, need to have more uh, presence. And this is what I, I'm, I was hoping I'd get it uh, for the uh, Scottish Portraits Awards this year. Um, mm -hmm. But it's going to take me another few weeks, as you can see. It's kind of it's it's started but not finished. Mm. But again, you 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 know you are all again thinking of uh, of uh, some some wonderful people that you know we we don't think about and uh, and they are been very very important you know in in all of this and in all the time actually. Uh, so beautifully represented here, as you said, in a very you know, in, in you would love to, to, you know, you actually feel what they're thinking. <laughs> you know, it's <laughs> yeah. yes, Dora definitely looks like she's telling me to piss off. <laughs> yes, <she was. laughs> I, I took I took so many photographs you would not believe. <laughs> I was really? there for quite a while, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> what we would love to see the the end you know the finished one but now we are in the, you know in your studio so you can see that it's like a, being in a in an atelier and in your own uh, gallery you know if it's possible if we say so oh, and we can see the, the the sizes of your paintings um, so here yes. we we go with uh, you know some of your paintings we can we have seen them and some you know the the, the lady here with the green the green blackberry we haven't talked that was a yeah that was a commission portrait ah. the, the green. and uh yes beautiful so here we are at the end of your of your wonderful exhibition so i'm actually coming back again hello hi <laughs> It is, it is wonderful, you know, because you, you, you know, you, you can, you know, teach us that everyday life, you know, you don't have to go so far away. And this is something, a concept that I was trying to use with a, with a dear friend of mine uh, about local globalization. You know, so you don't need to go so far. You, you can see in your everyday life, wonderful moments. And you, you portrayed in such, so touching. You know, again, so touching and beautifully represented. Thank you. Thank you, you know, very I'm, much for I'm, that. I'm so happy, Christine, that we met, as I said, we met through a dear friend uh, that, uh, that uh, would love, again, to meet very soon, because in England, unfortunately, we, I haven't been visiting for, for a long time because of COVID. So thank you for, you know, bringing this, this reality of everyday life. Yeah, it, it's, uh, I try to make it a universal uh, idea about women and the role of women within society and sort of uh, how aging uh, changes people but doesn't change them and sort of try and get these universal sort of concepts um, sort of rolled into my work so that you get a sort of an emotional sort of um, backplate to it. 
Bellissimo. I, I, I tend to talk an awful lot when I start talking about I, 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 I love it. I love it because, you know, it, it is, I think it's, it's beautiful to, to, to hear what the painter, you know, what the artist would love to, you know, it's a message, even though sometimes, you know, we, we want to engage, uh, but I think it's important to, to, to know what there is behind and, uh, and uh, you know, to, to really understand better what, uh, you know. I hope what, uh, work can read itself is um, what you hope. You sort of, that people look at it and go, well, why did she do that? Why did she put that in? Why, why is the, it, that color? Why is there a door next to him? You know, yes. <laughs> sort of all think, these sorts of questions yes. that should come up and create a sort of a more interesting and more involving sort of picture. Yes, and it, it, it's really, you know, you also touch thing, you know, a subject that, we would never think about, you know, uh, the doctor, what, what, what is there, the, the, a child, the, the mother. Beautiful, you know, this reflection of, uh, as you said, of age. And that we are confronted every day, and especially during this month, that uh, brought us to, to, to pause a little bit, to reflect a little bit more uh, in our busy, busy life. So I think it's, it's beautiful this time encapsulated in your paintings and i thank you very very much christina and i hope to see you very soon and to and to see more paintings <laughs> because uh, thank you. you have to tell gerald thank you yes i will i will thank you christine and see you see you hopefully very soon have a wonderful week goodbye